have to be able to reestablish trust and then you have to start talks about laying down weapons but it's politics up front and in the meantime mm -hmm. There's a lot of people going to get hurt in Iraq, unfortunately. General, I want your take on this video coming from CNN. A congressman now asking the Pentagon to remove embedded CNN reporters after the network showing snipers targeting U.S. troops. And that CNN now saying, well, they got this from an insurgent leader and they showed it because they want to show the real. In fact, the quote is they want to show um, what the truth is about this war. What's your take on that? Well, I'm reluctant to have the government tell the media what it can and can't show. You remember that we were very proud of the fact that we embedded media with the United States Armed Forces when they went in. And there were pictures on that media of Iraqis who had died and were dying. Um, this is a really tough call. The network needs to make it. Public opinion needs to be heard on this. but. Uh, it's 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 a dangerous thing. What do you say to the family, though, the media, General? What they can't what they can't show. What do you say to the Especially family of that soldier? A, we have Congressman we have Congressman Bill Bray now saying that this is the publicist for the enemy. They're saying this is nothing more than a terrorist snuff film. I know CNN kind of you know they fancy themselves this worldwide news organization and that they're they're you know they're trying to be unbiased. But the bottom line is they're still based in America. It's an American news agency, just like this news channel is, and they're showing that type of footage. And it seems to me the family of those soldiers, the people in Iraq that we send over there, it seems it's just not fair to them, General. Well, I think it's a, it's a really difficult situation in Iraq. I guess what I'd say to the families of the soldiers is if I were one of the Republican congressmen, I'd be asking our president to come up with a strategy that can that can win and succeed in Iraq. Mm. The strategy that we've got apparently it doesn't work. We're not quite sure what the strategy is. It's never really been explained. But what we know is we're in a sort of worsening spiral. And the real problem is not what's shown on television. It's what the reality is. It's the fact that that soldier did in fact die, and he died serving our country, doing something our government asked him to do. And we have to ask. Every one of us as Americans, mm -hmm. is this what we want our young men and women dying for? 